What's up YouTube? It's Sean from Rags to Boss and today we are going to be looking at one of my all-time favorite coins. JK, we're going to be talking about SafeMoon. Now, as you guys know, um, I have been of the opinion from the very start, or at least from the very start I started covering it, that SafeMoon is an absolute Ponzi pyramid scam scheme whatever you want to call it uh and god have i been proven right since after coffeezilla blew the lid on the whole john crony ceo of save moon stealing from the coin from the lp uh, etc and also of course there were some other things that i unveiled myself that were not Right, like for instance, the uh, the whole wind turbine fiasco, where they claimed to be able to magically make wind turbines ten times more efficient by applying some magic nano coating. Uh, they were going to put these in Africa, where there is more sun than wind, and the list just goes on. Also, missing every deadline that they could possibly miss on every product launch then starting to develop new products and forgetting about the old ones. Now, today um, I just want to have a quick look at what is going on with SafeMoon today. What have they achieved since? Um, it's been about five months since I've covered SafeMoon, so there should be loads and loads to dig into. Spoiler alert. Anyway, um, one of the first things that I did back in the day is look at their old roadmap through the Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine, of course, is a handy tool on the internet that allows you to go back to websites how they were on a specific date. So that means you can basically look into the past, even if somebody changes their website, you can see it how it was before. Now, if we just go over to the safemoon.net website, it was still safemoon.net at that point. Um, let's just look at the 5th of April, 2021. Now, this is from a time that they actually dared put out a roadmap. They probably hadn't realized that they were never going to do these things, or maybe they planned to get rid of this roadmap all along, and this was just a way to hype us all in. Anyway, let's just have a look. So the protocol initialized, um, so they're talking about uh, basically starting the whole thing, uh, Dogecoin trading pair, okay, whatever, that's fine. All right, then here it gets interesting. So they're talking about um, architecting an NFT exchange, a video game integration, and we're also talking about integrating with African markets, charity drive, um, they're exploring other exchanges, i.e. Binance, wow. Um, and they will begin architecting the Safe Moon Exchange. Now keep in mind, this is a year and a half ago, right? This is not 2022, this is 2021 we're talking about. Okay, so then for Q3, it, it would have said, we will finish our NFT exchange. So last year, SafeMoon finished their NFT exchange. Oh, wait a minute, they didn't. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm sure it's fine. And released our video game with SafeMoon integrated. Well, they didn't release a video game with SafeMoon integrated. They had a server on some hacky game. Anyway, never mind. Um, We'll be expanding the team, blah, blah. Uh, we will also be integrating on other larges, or larger exchange, exchanges, i.e. Binance Mandala. Right, then Q4 of 2021, to the moon. We'll finish the Safe Moon Exchange and our charity projects. We'll finish integration with African markets and start next integration with additional African markets. We'll create an African-based Safe Moon office hiring and creating jobs. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, they have yet to do any of this, and we are more than a year down the line. Then after this, to keep us busy, they started the whole Project Phoenix thing with the whole basically completely BS wind turbines. Um, there's going to be a video up here explaining why that's complete bullshit. You can watch that, and you will be able to take your own conclusion. Anyway, to date, we have 
no exchange. We have a few screenshots of what's supposed to be their exchange, but hey man, I can do that in paint. I mean, it doesn't have to work. You know, just put a bunch of buttons together in that stupid house color that Safe Moon uses, and hey presto. Um, we have yet to see a credit card because yes, there was a credit card suddenly announced in March out of nowhere. It turned out not actually to be a Safe Moon credit card at all, but just basically a card that you can have branded. I mean, uh, if you start a company today, tomorrow you can have your own company credit card with your logo on it. And you know, you'll be able to gift that out to customers. It is very generic and it's going to do nothing to Safe Moon, but they have also still yet to release it. The exchange is going absolutely nowhere as far as we know. Um, there are no wind turbines and basically nothing has happened. The only thing that they did come up with was this. And this is something that they call Orbital Shield. Now Orbital Shield means absolutely F all. What is Orbital Shield? It's some kind of encryption technology to keep your safe moon safe. Right, now you'll think, oh, that's great. Well, look, it might be great, but let's look, have a look at the price. Now, this is the V2 contract. Now, the V2 contract has completely plummeted from three zeros and a three to now, um, at the current moment, we are looking at four zeros and a two. Uh, no, sorry, it, it went from two zeros and a three to three zeros and a two. So we have already plummeted downwards completely and everybody that bought into the V2 contract is basically already completely screwed, losing almost all their money. However, can you imagine putting 10,000 into the V1 contract at all time high. Now the sneaky thing about this is, I think, about this whole V1 to V2 situation, where you're migrating your tokens, blah, blah, and the prices are changing, they're adding decimal points, whatever, right? The, the problem with that is, it makes it incredibly difficult, unless you've actually got money in it already, because obviously you know how much you've lost, to actually calculate how much the total value has gone down. Because first you're gonna to have to calculate what the V1 contract has lost, and then the, the decimals change, and then you have to uh, calculate what that means for your current loss. But that also means that for new people coming in, they're just looking at this V2 contract. Now, this obviously looks terrible. You're not gonna invest in this. But if you were looking at it somewhere around here, you might think, oh my God, it's pumping from down here. That's great, I'm gonna invest. But you did not see that iceberg below the water that was the V1 contract, which is basically trying to sink the ship. Anyway, this is also why this whole orbital shield means completely nothing. Because what is it gonna do? Protect the $10 I have in my wallet, which used to be like 10K? Like, what are you doing to me? Like, are you clowning? Like, bring a product to market. But to be completely honest, we all know this is not gonna happen. They've all made their millions. They've all stole from you guys. They are now being sued for that. And, you know, nothing's gonna happen. I mean, th this whole coin probably isn't even under development anymore in the sense that you can say you're rolling out some orbital shield. Yes, yeah, so what? Says who, right? Oh, the, the, the wallet now has orbital shield. Yeah, does that make me any money? No? Okay, well then shut up about it. Bring us some wind turbines, some credit cards, some exchanges, some NFTs, just anything that will up the value. But they can't because there is no value because this is a Ponzi scheme. Anyway, I uh, hate to say it, I told show, but I told show, and <laughs> just wanted to make this quick update. Um, I was just really wondering what was going on with Safe Moon actually, and it turns out not a lot. Anyway, guys, um, I will of course be checking up on more Safe Moon content if and when it becomes available. I will let you guys know and keep you guys up to date. In the meanwhile, please, please, this is actual financial advice. 
do not invest in SafeMoon because they are criminals. Anyway, have a very nice day. Subscribe to the channel here if you want more content on crypto, positive and negative, and watch another video about SafeMoon here if you want to get really pissed off. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.